First day today, petition sign up stations were set up by volunteers aiming to meet the qualifications to add Constitutional Initiative 128 to this November's ballot. In Billings, the group Montanans Securing Reproductive Rights organized a drive through signing station for those who hadn't signed the petition in favor of CI 128. After we sit send our signatures in. Um, we are looking to be qualified and hope to have news about that, you know, as soon as possible, but we feel confident that we're going to qualify it. Um, and so then we will be doing our next steps, which is going out and talking to voters across Montana um, about the impact of this um, on their day-to-day -day lives and why it's so important to vote yes on CI 128. The Montana State Secretary, the Montana Secretary of State's website says, that should the initiative meet all the qualifications to make the general election a yes vote would amend the Montana Constitution to expressly provide a right to make and carry out decisions about one's own pregnancy, including the right to abortion. It would prohibit the government from denying or burdening the right to abortion before fetal viability. It would also prohibit the government from denying or burdening access to an abortion when a treating healthcare professional determines it is medically necessary to protect the pregnant patient's life or health. And we did reach out to Governor Gianforte's office today to see what he thinks about amending the state's constitution to include this amendment, but we have yet to hear 